Say hi. So we are going, uh, we're going to go down to Cow Gap again, do a bit of fossil hunting. And we might, depending, we're going to see what the tides are like. Um, low tides in about two hours. Uh, we're going to see what the sea's like. We might have a little wander down, see how far we can get to the lighthouse. So we thought we'd show you the route. Uh, I'm just going to turn you around. We're going to head down to an area called Whitbread Hollow um, and then to Cow Gap. So it's a lovely little route. Um, that's where we've come from, the little calf. That's the hill up to Beachy Head up there. Quarter of a mile uh, down this path over here. Uh, it's a lovely viewpoint here. Uh, down there is usually where I detect. Um, that's Hollywell down there. Look, uh, still got about two hours for low tide. It's quite a low one. Spring tides in about three days. You see the uh, surfers down there. So uh, yeah. So we're going to carry on this way. And you see the rocks there. That's where we're heading. So we'll see you can hear this. This area here is footballers now, um, but there used to be World War One, World War Two camps here, which is why we find um, lots of bullets um, when we're down over the cliff edge over here. Um, there, so there's a lot, lot of um, military stuff because they used to shoot over the cliffs. But yeah. So we've walked all the way over here from that path. We're going this way. Uh, you know when to go left because there's a bench just up here. Just get up here. So there's a bench and you need to turn left. And we'll just get over the top and we'll show you. And there's our path down there. So we'll see you at the entrance to Cow Gap. Nearly there. Yep, that's it. This is when, yeah, there's a lawnmower here. Aaron gets very excited by that. Cow Gap. So if we show you going down, more steps. It's about a mile to here. And then if we go to the lighthouse, it's about a mile, but it's quite slippery, but we'll see what it's like when we get down here. And then here's our steps down. And we're gonna be going that way. Okay, so literally we just walked from there.
we are going to turn back and go and do some more fossil hunting, yeah? low tide um, Aaron's got a hammer so you don't need to bring a hammer you don't need to bring a hammer you can just find fossils on the surface so yeah always tell someone you're going so we told daddy where we're going and we said if we're not back by six then he needs to contact someone just in case something happens because there is absolutely no phone signal down here so always make sure you tell someone where you're going and what time to expect you back and yeah, that's it really just enjoy. Ah, and this bit, if you see here, this is where most people get cut off because it comes in really quickly and it cuts them off here. So always make sure you've got enough time to get there and back. So two hours either side of the tide should give you plenty of time to get to the lighthouse and back. And stay away from the cliff edges, Aaron, because they're forever eroding and dropping. And that one up there is going to go soon. Do that, there'll be another video in a couple of days. If not, Three. we'll see you soon. Okay. And what do we want them to do, Aaron? Oh, 